So hello guys, this is the Fox 5 November Papa Victor. So this is a, a quick presentation for the MOSFET IRF uh, uh, 530 MOSFET amplifier. So this amplifier is, uh, as I mentioned into the, the website, this is uh, coming from the kit here. This is uh, the MOSFET amplifier. So in the blog I describe uh, mostly the, the build and uh, it's very cheap, yeah. It's about, uh, I pay, if I can remember, about uh, 15, uh, 15 euro for the kit. So it's quite cheap. But as I mentioned in the, in the website, that uh, the initial build uh, for this kind of MOSFET was uh, not uh, successful due to many issues. And since this uh, kind of MOSFET is not dedicated for RF uh, usage. Therefore, after some uh, different discussion on some different forum and some comment into this uh, website, I, I managed to, uh, to achieve uh, some... Uh, Descent on solid uh, 50 watt amplifier with a great uh, spectra purity on IMD and so on. So the the, the purity is very is very good. But <clears throat> to achieve this kind of uh, efficiency and purity, you need to uh, to uh, implement some uh, some feature. So as I mentioned uh, in uh, some different chapter into the website, the main issue with uh, this kind of uh, amplifier on a MOF set, this is the thermal runaway uh, <clears throat> provided by this kind of MOS, uh, so MOSFET. The problem with this MOSFET, uh, as far as it's getting hotter, the resistance, the internal resistance of the MOSFET will uh, will move. And uh, in fact, there is a kind of domino effect on as far as moving ho is getting hotter and hotter, you have a more and more current to the drain onto the, the biasing for the biasing. And uh, at the end, <coughs> at the end, you are simply <coughs> blowing blowing up your your transistor. So, as I <coughs> as I mentioned into the the website, this is the. There, there is different circuit to to protect uh, the amplifier and uh, the thermal runaway. So, as I mentioned, there is a uh, three system. In fact, there is one system putting this kind of uh, resistor in parallel to the source with a capacitor. So, sorry for that because I, I am testing now and I remove this uh, this feature for now. I will put it back because I'm testing. Uh, without and with uh, this kind of feature just in order to be sure that it's working perfectly so you can add this kind of resistor <coughs> into the the source on the ground of the 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 mosfet so initially it was like that you know i put like that both side okay so you just need to bend a little bit the source of the of the MOSFET and to solder this kind of resistor and capacitor so the value is between 0 1 ohm up to <coughs> let's say 0 50 ohm this is the uh, one of the main uh, trick in order to prevent the uh, avalanche effects on thermal or runaway because it's going to uh, protect the source on the the gate um, to be uh, not to be shortcutted in case of uh, thermal issue. So the other feature, this is uh, to put some diodes. So the diode I implement like that. You you see. So this is a six diode here, and I put very 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 close from the two MOSFET. So as I mentioned, according with uh, this kind of tricks. It uh, silicium diode will the, resi the internal resistor will move according with the heat. So it's a very uh, very efficient uh, feature. In fact, a lot of uh, even professional amplifier using this kind of feature. On <clears throat> this kind of uh, of modification, also assist to uh, to protect your amplifier. So I put really straight into the the close by the, the, the two MOSFET. Also, we, uh, so this is mostly for the thermal runaway and the uh, avalanche effect regarding this kind of transistor. With these two features, the diode plus this little uh, uh, resistor uh, in order to protect the source on the, on the gate, will really assist to, to protect the, your amplifier. Uh, I'm going to show you, I have another amplifier. This is this one. So this one, I built it about uh, 
three years ago. <clears throat> so, of course, you cannot see much on the casing. Of course, it's completely different. On, uh, I'm using mostly the 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 the, the, the protection system uh, with this amplifier. And I'm running this amplifier with a solid 50 watts output for three years now without any issue. So, let's go back to this uh, <clears throat> amplifier. One issue regarding also the this kind of... Uh, MOSFET. This is the high capacitance input. This is uh, the main issue. It's about, uh, <coughs> if I can remember, more than 200 picofarad at the input. So this is uh, <coughs> mostly uh, very tricky to adjust uh, the the input and to get a, a good SWR. So in order to uh, to adjust the input on the the input SWR, you need to test with some resistor here. I think. The value is about 24 ohm, and the other amplifier is 21 ohm. So, how to figure out <clears throat> on how to measure the, the the input SWR? You just need to to use this kind of uh, analyzer. This is an antenna analyzer, uh, a nano v VNA. You put at the, you plug the nano VNA or the antenna analyzer at the input. Uh, you power up, of course, the amplifier. You put, of course, at the output a demi load, and you trigger the PTT without, of course, putting any RF. And you make some measurement. You try different value of this resistor until you reach the perfect or almost perfect SWR uh, for all bands. So, according with uh, this resistor, it's a 24 ohm. I managed to uh, to achieve from 1.1. SWR up to 1.8 maximum on the 10 meters band. This is the best. Uh, of course, it's a wide, wide band, wide range, so it's very difficult to achieve a, a perfect SWR all band from 1 to 30 megahertz. But uh, according with that, this kind of a resistor, you can really adjust the input of the of the amplifier. So also at the On the top of the resistor, of course, there is two screws here to uh, tighten up the, the the fan. So I put a little fan here on the top of the of the of the both transistor. So it's really assisting for to cutting down the, the two transistor. So the <clears throat> if I can remember the the temperature magnitude range for this kind of MOSFET is about uh, about 150 degrees Celsius. So the range is quite high, but it's better to have a, a good protection. So here, this is a little resistor. <clears throat> I removed the R7 resistor from the initial kit in order to provide the three point the three point seven and up to three point nine volt and about uh, 30 to 40 milliamp TSN current for both uh, transistors. So total it will be about 70 to 80 milliamp for both transistors. So here, okay, this is a mostly uh, it's quite straightforward. It's a, for for the build. Here, this is what I described into the my website. This is the feed of the drain of the, the MOSFET. So it's not according like with the kit, you see, with the kit, you need to uh, put both pad solder together. And in fact, this, uh, this uh, little uh, trick is, go is going to provide a limited current uh, system to your, to, your, to your drain, to your transistor drain. And sorry, you cannot see much, but at, you see here at the bottom, you have a, a step down converter, 12 volt, and with some current limitation uh, feature uh, embedded. So there is two screw with this uh, little uh, step up, a uh, step down converter to adjust the current on the, the voltage. So it's also one of the protection for the for the for the MOSFET. And uh, <clears throat> is also assisting to provide to provide some protection to your MOSFET. So here, this is the overall controller. SWR monitoring current. I'm monitoring the current from the drain. Uh, temperature. So that's why I put the probe 
of the the controller on the top of the casing of the the MOSFET. So it's pro it's very efficient. It's really real time. So there is not a lot of uh, lag or latency regarding the the temperature. So after according with uh, a menu. You have some menu and some feature here. You can adjust the maximum temperature you want to reach. So also, I describe into a web page the, how to build it. You have the sketch, the, the Arduino sketch, the GRBR file. You have everything in order to build this uh, kind of controller. <coughs> Definitely, we are using, you know, uh, whatever you are using, LD Morse uh, amplifier or MOSFET amplifier. Uh, transistor needs some protection definitely it's not like a tube amplifier which are very very tough in fact but for whatever you are using MOSFET or LD MOSFET transistor you need a controller and building this controller will be a good introduction for you in order if you want later on to build a LD MOS amplifier you can use exactly the same controller uh, to implement with your LD MOS amplifier here this is LPF so initially I was planning to build my LPF, I have the GRBAR file and so on, but honestly speaking I was a little bit lazy, so I bought that uh, as a kit, I put the link in my website uh, for the kit in the Ukrainian uh, website, it's very cheap, I think it paid 25 or 30 euro, but therefore with the kit the toroid was not, were not so good, so I put a different toroid and I uh, rewind all the toroid provided by, by the kit, so here uh, this uh, kind of uh, LPF provide me a very good uh, spectral purity and uh, I managed to have a good IMD on the spectral purity it's uh, above uh, it's uh, better than uh, minus 48 and uh, minus 50 plus for H2 on H, H3 so it's quite it's quite good so here this is the relay opto relay I have uh, this kind of relay because I have uh, some Arduino project, so I use it. So I plug, of course, it, it with the, the the controller. And this uh, controller, you know, is uh, cutting down the the drain voltage. If you have, if the controller is detecting some issue with the temperature and so on and so on, so it's real time. It's cutting off. The, the drain the voltage drain immediately if you, you de if the the controller detect I, SWR high temperature or high current for the drain so here there is a LED to provide you information for the alarm I need to put a reset button at the front because when the alarm is triggered you need to reset the Arduino uh, nano so you have the choice switch off the amplifier switch on or put a reset here I think later on I will put a reset here this is the current sensor probe for the drain current the drain voltage so of course this is a AC 712 <coughs> little module so of course it's plugged also in the controller in order to protect as I, as I mentioned the 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 drain current in case of problem so here at the back this is a power supply so i can feed up a, a, a transceiver with this power supply mostly uh, this amplifier is dedicated for portable usage so i can feed up uh, up to uh, three amp uh, a transceiver here there is a fuse of course put at the bottom here this is the two output the two output of the amplifier power supply plug and here this is the the PTT the PTT control so here the PTT control is from here here and after it can be controlled by your by your transceiver so the front I'm going to pour on the the amplifier so this is a uh, the controller so as the are power temperature and current so here the amplifier is not active here the amplifier is active you're ready to go here there is a menu in order to set up different uh, feature okay you can adjust oh, sorry I adjust 
sorry about that, I need to pull later, okay. So there is different feature in the in the menu. Here there, there is a band the band switch for the LPF. Initially I put the automatic uh, LPF band switching, but the problem if you notice I have no more space. That's the problem. The, the casing is too small. On the other amplifier, I have this feature, but for this one, I try to implement here. I put here, in fact, but it's really too close from the amplifier, and I have some uh, spurious uh, issues. So I remove it from now, and I will uh, scratch my head in order to implement uh, uh, this kind of uh, little board. So that's that's straightforward. Oh, I'm going to switch off. Yeah. So, of course, I put it back here like that. I have two screws on the side to uh, tidy up the, the fan. And that's it. There is also an, an additional fan. In fact, according with the controller, this fan will automatically uh, uh, switch on at 30 degrees. When it detects 30 degrees, whatever is the temperature, or higher is going to to trigger but if the temperature reach for example uh, 50 degrees because in the controller you set up 50 degrees as a max temperature of course the fan will remain to be switched on but the relay will this relay will switch off the drain voltage to feed the amplifier so i hope it clarify a lot of things uh, regarding this kind of amplifier, as I mentioned, this kind of MOSFET definitely you have no choice. You need thermal runaway protection. Just to remind you, this kind of uh, resistor with a capacitor, diode system, temperature sensor, uh, I forgot something. Uh, yeah, um, drain voltage uh, current protection with uh, a step down. Uh, a booster on that set with uh, this kind of amplifier as i mentioned uh, the previous amplifier i have i'm running this amplifier the other one for three years without any a, a single issue it's running perfectly and with this one i can have uh, with the resistor with this kind of the resistor the power will drop a little bit i have about up to 37 up to 40 watts for about one watt input, but without the, the resistor on the capacitor in parallel uh, with the source on the ground, I managed to have about 50 to 55 watts. When I test this amplifier on the other one, of course, uh, FT8 PSK31, long QSO, no problem. It's running very well. Of course, I reduce a little bit the power. It's not full power since the radiator is not so big, but uh, with uh, about 20 to 25 watts, for FT8 on PSK31, no problem. The amplifier can uh, can handle it. And of course, for C CW on SSB, you can uh, run this amplifier for hours, uh, full power, without any issue. So, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. It clarify, and we provide you some ID for implementation of your amplifier if you decide to build one. So take care. Have a nice weekend and hope to catch you very soon on the air. So this is Foxtrot 5, November Papa Victor on QRT. 73, guys.